Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new box that I have received from Milli Group. It is called PCG03 Plus. This is their latest, one of the best mini PC that you can use and also have the latest chipset on it. So let's just get into it and unbox. Also going to review to see what this can do for us. All right, so you can see that the box is very nicely designed as really nice picture right in the front. It does indicate that this have Intel chipset inside of it and it does have big big writings that will tell you that it can do 4k for you once you go around it, it has a lot of markings so if you go on one side of it it does indicate that it is windows 10 and on the other side of it it will indicate that it has usb 3.0 on there all right so let's get it open so once we open the top you can see that it's really nicely set up it just comes with the PCG03 Apple box and also it comes with a power adapter. The power adapter have little connections so this way if you are moving from country to country or you're going around the world you can take this and use it for regular PC and all the connectors are there so you can connect it anywhere that you go. So this power supply can handle between 250 watt to regular 110 which is North American standards. Again once you connect the top that's it and you can connect it to get power. Also with this comes with a little user manual. The user manual is a very, very simple with big pictures on it to explain what you're going to get out of this. So you can see that the three components are there. Also will tell you a lot about the specification on this, the layout. And also if you go on a back part of it, it talks about when you connect it to your monitor, how, what you're going to get. Again, this can handle dual monitor. All right, so let's put everything aside and let's look on the box itself. So it is shrink wrap. We're gonna open that too. And then you can see that right from from the front on the top you have the logo for Milli company and then it has a really nice looking cut through it so you can see that it's very very nicely designed going from the front part of it you have a little hole for the LED indicator then you have the IR sensor it does indicate in the front that it is PCG03 when you flip it on the right hand side there's nothing there but once you go to the back you can see that there is a little part for the lock and then you have USB type C connection you have DC connection which is 12 volt then you do have VGA connection then you have HDMI connection which is 2.0 it is providing 4k content also you have one gigabit LAN connection you have two USB 3.0 ports then you do have a little headset jack which is 3.5 and you have the antenna for the N Wi-Fi connection going on the other side of it you have one USB 2.0 port and you have a USB 3.0 right beside that which can also use for flushing the hard drive you do have a little section for the SD card slot which can read up to 64 gigabyte and also you have the power button going on the bottom part of it you do have a lot of ventilation you have four little screws so you can connect this your back of your monitor but it does have four little legs so you can stand up this way it would breathe properly all right enough said about the box itself let's get into it all right so first connect the HDMI and then if you do have a wireless mouse and keyboard connect that and then your power and press Press the button. You should see a blue light in the front and then it will indicate that it's an Intel Pentium and it will just try to boot in. And as soon as it goes in, I already set this up. So this is the screen you will get. So this is Windows 10 Home Edition. Again, it is very easy to set up so you can play around and make sure that you do update your Windows itself since there is some updates that came across and we do not want you to get stuck anywhere. If you do want to install third party antivirus on this, you can do that. But by default, it already comes with Windows Defender, which you can use. And you can see that we just run everything. So we went under update, first updated there, and then we went through and we searched through the whole unit itself to make sure that there is no virus has been downloaded it since we start using it so you can see already that we have went through and installed Chrome browser again the regular browser that Windows provide to is very nice but again since we are very used to the Chrome browser we're using that plus if you click here you will see your regular start button so when you go through your all of your user and all of your apps that is preloaded is already here I would suggest that if you do want to condense it because it has only 32 gigabyte internal storage you can fix it from here 
One more thing that we have tried to play with the graphics card and we try to do some benchmarks, we got really good result out of it. So you can see it right now that it is running. And once it's done, the number that is stood for the regular HD graphics that is part of Intel Pentium, we got 81 marks out of it. If it is something along the line for the NVIDIA GeForce, I am sure that we would have get even better number, which is around 200. But again, for this, and their Intel Pentium Celeron processor, it's a very good number. All right, so we will get out of this too. The next thing we will try to go through is going to be the CPU Z. Now, once we try to go through, I have to let you know that the CPU Z app itself is not available inside of the Microsoft App Store, but you can get this from their website. But it gives you a lot of information under this. So if you look under the CPU numbers, you can see that it is Intel Celeron N3350. It is codenamed under Apollo Lake and it is running socket 1296. Again, the specification is it's Intel Celeron in CPU N3350. N3450. It is running on 1.10 gigahertz after they have decommissioned their Atom processors. This came up. This is their latest. Again, this is very powerful, especially running it on this type of mini PC. You can see in the bottom the clock cores there too. But once we go under cache, you can see that each cache, there are three of them available, but each one is running between 24 kilobytes to 32 kilobytes. And if you go to the last one, it is 1000 kilobyte, which is really cool. On the motherboard itself, you can see the chipset is Apollo Lake Host Bridge. And if you look under BIOS, it's still running under American Megatrend. And if you go look in the bottom part of it for the graphics interface, it is PCI Express, which is built on the motherboard itself. So you cannot replace or upgrade that part. And if you look under the memory itself, it does indicate to you the size is 3930 megabyte, which is 4 gigabyte LP DDR3. And yes, you can see it right now that it is running around 926.1 megahertz per the frequency. But again, this is a phenomenal little PC. All right, so let's go through and do some benchmarking for the LAN connection and also for the Wi Fi. Now, in order to launch the speed test app, we already went through the app store and we installed it. So we will go under start and we should see it here called speed test. So once you bring it up, it will take a couple of seconds for it to connect. So there you go. Once you click go, it will take a couple of seconds for it to connect. Now this test is on Wi-Fi. So let's see how fast they will connect and get us some information. Now this is our download speed and it will go through and get the upload speed in a few seconds. And there you go. You can see right now that our download speed is 322.59 megabits per second and our upload speed is 22.41 using a Wi-Fi and trying to get this number. All right, so we will switch the connection. You can see it in the bottom that we are connected via Wi-Fi and let's change this to Ethernet. All right, so as you can see right now, we are connected via Ethernet and you can see underneath of it that the Wi-Fi is off and let's do another test with our Ethernet. You can see it right now that it is so intense that it is going all the way to the end. We have 500 megabits of download and 20 megabits of upload. You can see right now that how much it is pushing to get a really good number for us. And this is true Ethernet and not true Wi-Fi. And there you go. So this is the result for the Ethernet connection. So this box is very nice when we try this. Again, playing videos on it still is very nice and you want to play video games on it too using a Bluetooth connection, which will be really good. So Bluetooth connection on this is 4.0. So again, if you do want to install Kodi, this will work perfectly for it. And again, this is made so you can connect two monitors to this and not just one, and it will play very nicely. Again, this was our take on Milli PCG03 Apple Plus. 
we will be providing link where you can order this mini PC from and also any other Mili products at the bottom of this video. At the meantime, I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. 